Hello everyone and welcome to a new Alt Power tutorial. Today we'll be talking about CTEs. We'll be explaining what are CTEs and how we could use them in Alt systems. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Let's start by answering the question, what is a CTE? Well, CTE is the abbreviation for Common Table Expression. They are used within SQL Server to simplify complex joins and subqueries, for when you need to generate temporary result sets that can be accessed in a select. Also, they can be recursive and non-recursive. We will show you an example for both situations, but let's start with the non-recursive. A non-recursive CTE is one that does not reference itself within the CTE. They tend to be simpler. Let's start by dragging a SQL query and setting the output structure. We will build a CTE that will give us employee name and his net value of sales. Okay, we are ready. Let's start writing our CTE. OK, we finished typing in our SQL. As you can see, the output is the same as our structure. A quick explanation of its components. After the CTE name is specified, we provide two column names, employee name and total. That means the result set returned by the CTE query must return two columns, hence our output structure. Next, I provide the has keyword, then set up the, in the parentheses that enclose the CTE query. In this case, the SELECT statement returns the total sales for each employee. As you can see, the CTE query can include transact SQL functions, group by clauses, or any elements that, that the SELECT statement in a view definition can include. The CTE sales has been declared. I can reference it in the statement that immediately follows. In this example, we've used the CTE to calculate all the employee sales and then join it with, our, with the employee table based on the employee ID. Now, now that this is, has all been prepared, let's test it out. As you can see, this is the result set that we get using our CTE, the total sales for each of the employee salesperson. And that was our non-recursive CTE. Now for the recursive. Let's prepare a new query as we did before. Okay, preparations are done. So, a recursive CTE is one that references itself within that CTE. The recursive CTE is useful when we are working with hierarchical data because the CTE continues to execute until the query returns the entire hierarchy. Note that the CTE created incorrectly could enter an infinite loop. To prevent this, you can include the max recursion hint in the option clause of the primary select. Okay, let's start writing our SQL. We finished writing our SQL. Let's explain what we have in our screen. The CTE returns five columns. Emp ID, first name, last name, manager ID, and employee level. The employee level column refers to the level in the hierarchy in which the employee fits. The highest level in the hierarchy is one, the next level is two, followed by three, and so on. A recursive CTE query must contain at least two members connected by an operator. In our case, the union op. In our example, the first statement is the anchor member, and the second statement is the recursive member. All anchor members must precede the recursive members, 
and only the recursive members can reference the CTE itself. The return result has to have the same number of columns with corresponding data types. The first statement returns employee ID, first name, last name, and manager ID. Where the manager ID is null, these are the top of the hierarchy. The second statement has the same return. However, pay attention to the join with the employee table. By doing this, the CTE will loop through the employee table until it returns the entire hierarchy. The employee level is incremented by one each time the hierarchy is looped. The result is what we expected, but instead of the manager ID, we have tricked the query to return the first and last name of the manager. OK, let's check out the results. As you can see here, we get the employee level for all of our employees, meaning we have achieved the company hierarchy. On top we have Bob Pliskin, and on, on the bottom of the hierarchy we have Helroy Jetson, Betty Rubble, and Johnny Bravo. And this was our recursive CTE. OK, guys, let's do a bonus feature. Let's drag our SQL, prepare our output, and now I'll show you a little hack I have used before. Let us generate all the years between two set values using a CTE. So, start off by adding the input parameters. Write our SQL query. OK, we've written our SQL. Now, I've used this for years, but you can use it for dates by making the use of the date hat function. Let's specify a start year, 1990, end year, 2000, and test. There we go. We have a list of all the years between 1990 and 2000. Let's give a quick look to our SQL. We start out with our initial year. As we iterate, we had plus one to our year, only stopping when we reach the end year. And finally, we select the results from our CTE. Hope you have enjoyed our tutorial. Now you should have a basic understanding of CTEs and how to use them in our systems. That will be all for today. But please join us next time for more of our quick tutorials.